Hey Libra, thank you for tuning into your weekend tarot reading. This is intended for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers who are dealing with the Libra. This is going to be for you to see what's coming up this weekend. So we'll try to channel the energies. We'll look at overall energy first and lay out a few more cards to suss out the situation in a little bit more detail. Um, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, and also sign up to membership to get access to extended and bonus readings. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up. What is the overall energy for you lovely Librans out there? Okay, we've got the five of wands. So there's a lot happening right now. Okay, I just get this overwhelmed energy and I had almost had to catch a breath just then as I said that. So there's, there's things that are heating up here, I feel, with that five of wands. I'm hearing a lot of opinions and I'm getting a lot of different mixed thoughts that you're having and maybe that's the overwhelming thing in the morning you wake up you might be feeling pretty down okay or you might be feeling pretty up elevated about a situation throughout the day you dip you're having these lot of different thoughts and it's just this confusing time it's an it's an overwhelming time there's something here that isn't making sense to me Okay, so straight away I get this kind of confusion, right, that's coming up. I get that I'm getting opinions and advice and it's from different people and it's very different. They all try, there's like people around you that are trying to give you the best sort of advice in a current situation here. But more than anything, they're adding to your confusion, Libra. And now you're making me confused. <laughs> um, so I don't know what this is. But I just, let, let's suss this out because I feel like we can't always trust the opinions of others. Sometimes people have ulterior motives, right? And the ones can indicate like jealousy. So what's going on here? I feel like there's been a disruption of the peace for you, Libra. It's a, an argument or a fight or a disagreement that has left you more with more questions than answers. Could be about a living situation or with a long distance connection here for some um it's happened very quickly with the tower card and it still needs to be sorted okay it's around a very specific or a very important person and or connection so we've got a virgo and a gem that has come up so you might be dealing with one of those signs um Okay, like I said, there's still confusion here. The, the the high priestess is still hiding something. So I feel like not everything has been revealed. It's still to come, Libra. Okay, you have come up as a five of swords energy. So you're looking back, not feeling as confident as you once did. Ever since this five of ones energy happened, you're looking back at a situation, not feeling as comfortable. Five and six of swords, they're both movement cards. Now, I don't know if you're changing your mind a lot, but I get that there's, or like you're moving away from someone. It could be distance, but I get movement. Movement appears to be the big thing that's happening here and causing disruption. It's like a disturbance in the force between you and a specific person. They've come up as a soulmate lover's energy, right? So, I mean, they've come up with a special symbolism next to this connection. So I feel like this is big, okay? It's not a fleeting romance and it's not a fleeting connection. But I get movement because there's someone wants to be closer and the other person wants to be further away. And this is what's creating and then and then and then with that, it's like you get all these other people, friends and family and everyone's giving you something, telling you something different and that's just making it worse. But ultimately, the underlying cause of an issue that I'm seeing is that someone wants more independence and more space and the other one wants more closeness. Now, I don't know who you're depend or who you're looking as, I mean where you sit in that role, Libra. But I feel like the tower card is the shakeup because I feel like this thing had to happen because it showed it showed you who's the one that wants to be closer and who's the one that actually wants to back away or is like even one foot out the door. It's not going to be something you want to hear. Um, I feel like it's something you have to hear because that five of pentacles is telling me there's been a part of you that hasn't been too confident about where you've been sitting. You haven't felt engaged. You haven't felt connected. You felt ignored. Okay, you felt like 
it's like an energy of exhaustion and that's not how a relationship should a relationship should be it's not what you pictured libra okay especially with this person and i think some of you are panicking i get a panic energy because it's not what you had envisioned um i feel like other areas were quite successful and you were both building a solid connection here but i feel like the tower moment had to happen whatever it was and it's created more distance than closeness at least right now um there will be communication so even if you've isolated yourself from this person you have needed time away from each other you haven't spoken to each other there's communication coming in with the lovers so chances are you'll reach out or you'll hear from them and you'll be able to discuss this distancing i feel like that's going to come up for you in a topic of conversation so could be something like you might say to your person you know i feel like you've been really distant or i feel like i'm the only one putting effort into this relationship now it could be reversed your person might be telling you these things either way one of you wants closeness the other wants distance and time apart you might have to agree on some sort of healthy medium that balances the both of you out i feel like i'm getting an energy where a lot of you are you're prepared to do what you what you need to do for this relationship but you're not prepared to give give yourself up completely and sacrifice everything you know and love and everything that is a part of you for this one person um I feel like you might get signs from the universe telling you to do that, but ultimately that free will and that determinism is going to be on you and on your energy, on your conscience. So I just feel like it's just an overwhelming phase. It's temporary. Okay. The only thing that's permanent is change in this life. So you must remember that you're not always going to stay in this energy. Ultimately, there'll have to be some sort of conclusion or some sort of climax or peak into what happens next. Um, but because you're going through the midst of it all, you're probably not seeing it now, Libra, but in hindsight, you will. It may take some time. Five has come up three times. So I wonder if it's next five hours, five days, five weeks. Um, but the number five is a number of an important decision. So it's a reoccurring important decision. So whatever you're fighting about, whatever this disagreement was, it's something that was important to you. But it's not the first time this happens, Libra. The cards are telling me this has happened before and it's not the first time you and your person find each other in the same energy. So something's got to give. Otherwise, it'll keep happening again and my gut instinct is that you don't want this happening again anymore, okay? You, you, you've done it before. You're not doing it again. You want to clear away from it. So that's going to be the message for you, I feel. But I hope that has been helpful, Libra. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for watching. Lots of love and angel blessings. And um, until next time. So thank you and bye for now.